Solana is on an incredible rip right now and a lot of us out there are wondering, well, wait a minute. How much oomph are they stealing from other cryptos like XRP? That's right. How many out there are watching like, dang, I wish I would have gotten in on the Solana action. How many out there are wondering, hey, how many people are actually leaving XRP and jumping on the Soul bandwagon? Wait until I share some stats with you. It's not me being negative. It's just me reporting the news. Happy Thursday, everyone. We're banging and wanging. Easy 5K today. Justin Welch says, I think you moved that decimal one too many places to the right, my friend. I'm bullish on XRP in the long run, but if it breaks a dollar before New Year's, I'll eat my shirt. Talking about the video with E-Rag Crypto calling for 550 by the end of the year. Homeboy, you better hope there's a rocket up that booty hole to get it to shit to the stratosphere. Zulzu Motor says, Pix uses Ripple technology. Pix is a payment system in Brazil that does not use blockchain technology. In fact, there's a whole bunch of payment systems out there that are really good at moving money instantly that don't use blockchain. Hmm, many different ways to skin a cat. Bitcoin's sitting at 43,693 E, 2225. Can't ignore the elephant in the room. Solana, 86,33, up 9%. XRP down 1%. With XLM right now, sideways, 12.2. Solana overtakes XRP at 2023 crypto Cinderella story. The development is not isolated. Decentralized exchanges within the Solana network, such as Orca, are also experiencing a surge in trading volume. On December 15th alone, Orca clocked a staggering trading volume of 746 million. That, that's a lot for a decentralized exchange on a chain like that is that is a lot that is that is really a lot feeling this uptick in solana's market cap is the frenzied interest in the meme coins with bonk a canine theme toy being a prime example with its market cap surpassing 1.2 look memes are always going to be out there for everyone's like oh utility is going to rule the roost memes are going to go away no meme is a way for people to get a little pump and dump action kind of like gambling with a little bit of pop and drop on it memes are always going to be around it fills that need in the market. Not everything is utility. The Soul Union recently recorded a 24-hour surge of 11.5%, bringing its price to around 86.96, trading volume up a ton, 3.4 billion in the last 24 hours. Solana's 11,000% rise leaves XRP in the dust, steals fifth place in market cap. Let's take a look here. All right. Got it clear as day. Solana right now sitting at 36.8 billion with XRP at 33.1. So how many people are waiting for XRP juicy goodness? They're seeing the Solana move happen and they're like, yo, I wish I would have gotten in on that. But remember, the narrative has always been, oh, XRP chosen one, this and this and this. But narrative isn't always correct, isn't it? And that narrative is put out there by a bunch of people that are probably way deep in the red on XRP and hoping it can get to the green so they can, yeah, get back out of it. But Solana is making a move. And look. This is what people are talking about here. And, and I'm telling you, the, the market moves like this. People are jumping onto things. They're riding it until the last bit and then jumping off before she goes down. You're seeing that with Solana. All right, got the chart up on the screen. Last three months with Solana and XRP. Solana in red, XRP in blue. Look at this. Last three months, XRP up 20%. That's really, really good. Like that is really, really good. But not to be outdone by Solana's 343% over the last three months. So now we have to start asking ourselves, how many people that are into XRP, XLM, other utility ones, other mean ones, they're looking at Solana going, yo, Solana's taken off. We might be able to get in on this juicy action. Then they leave where they're at and they chase the action on Solana. You know it's happening. You know sure shit is happening. Look at, look at this price action of XRP the last three months. Blah, 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 blah. While Solana is roasting it. Now, what gets really scary and what's really starting to piss off holders of XRP, XLM, and all the other ones out there is when you look at the year to date on Solana. Year to date, Solana up 765%, XRP up 80%. 80% is good, but boy, does that suck compared to years past. But Solana making a massive roar. Now, zoom out a little bit to the two year, and this is where you start seeing Solana's real story. Okay. And this is where I get to read the comments down below. We're like, oh, bro, you're just being negative on XRP. Oh, we just shut the up. I'm reporting the news. All right. The news is Solana's beating the crap out of XRP. But when you zoom out, and this always talks about, right, what's your time frame of reference here? When you zoom out over the last two years, Solana's down more than XRP. Solana's down 56% in the last two years. XRP's only down 33%. So it really is all about time. And I think that's why a lot of people are getting upset because in the near term, they're seeing Solana just rip roar. In the one month, XRP up 5.5%, not bad. Solana, 65%. Three month gets even worse. Six month gets even worse. Year to date gets even worse. Holy crap. Then you go to the two year and you're like, oh, wait a minute. It's not so bad. 
So short-term action definitely favoring Solana. But how much of the XRP action is leaving XRP to follow the Solana move? Heck, how much of the entire crypto market's move is now following the Solana move? Pump and dump, everyone? Now, I'm not saying you should get out of XRP or follow the next phase. I'm just showing you what the market is doing right now and that things aren't staying. The, the holding power of stuff just isn't there. It's pumps and dumps for sure. The Solana move is shocking a whole bunch of us. Why? Because FTX owns a ton of Solana. Just did a report yesterday. 53 cents to the dollar is what people were expecting from FTX's liquidation. They're now expecting over 70 cents to the dollar with a large chunk of that extra money coming from the Solana pump. But that also means, though, that FTX has to sell their Solana holdings to make their creditors whole. So you are going to see some pressure on Sol. But the reality is, is when FTX has been dumping on the market, they've been doing a really good job not to affect market with negative price action when they're dumping. They, they Big holdings, like 17, 18 billion worth of crypto. So for them to dump and not affect price action, that's been a really good thing. But a lot of us out here were like, yo, you guys own a lot of Sol. I don't know if I want to touch that until you're done dumping. People right now are wondering, and I'm telling you, here's the rumor, all right? I'll share it with you. The rumor is, is that Soul is pumping so that the creditors can get as much as possible. And then as soon as they're done and they dump Soul from the FTX standpoint, then people themselves are going to be getting out of Soul. Now, will it prove to be true? No, but I'm telling you, I'm hearing a lot of that right now spreading around the old interweb and other social media places. So let me know, what are your thoughts? Did you miss out on the Soul action? Did you get in on the Soul action? How many people do you think are leaving XRP to jump on this most recent soul move? You know it's happening. You know it's happening. And I get it. Utility this, utility that, price action, ruin the risk. Right now, the juice is with Solana, and it's a lot of juice with Solana. Granted, you zoom out to the two-year, and you're like, yo, XRP is doing better than Sol. But, man, if you got into Solana within this last year, you're looking at 600% gains while XRP is only up 77%. That's not good if you're an XRP fan. If you're a Soul fan, it's great. XRP fan, not so much. So let me know in the comments below how much XRP action went away because they're following the Soul play.